Happy Whiskey Wednesday, everyone. I'm Robin, and this is Savor at Home number 75. Now, in honor of yesterday being Fat Tuesday, aka Pancake Day in the UK, I will be indulging in some cake. Glen Morangy, a tale of cake to be exact. A Tale of Cake is a Highland single malt scotch whiskey produced by Glen Morangy that is finished in Tokaji dessert wine casks. So being that it is a single malt scotch, we know that it's produced from 100% malted barley in the mash. This is double pot distilled by Glen Morangy and it's aged for an undisclosed amount of time in ex bourbon casks. But in Scotland, that means it's a minimum of three years old. It's then finished in Tokaji dessert wine casks for again, an undisclosed amount of time. If you haven't heard of Glen Morangy before, they are known for having these beautiful, really, really tall stills. Their stills are said to be as tall as a giraffe. Uh, so they're at least 16 feet tall, I believe. And that makes them the tallest stills in Scotland. Now having tall stills means that you're able to get more reflux during distillation and increased reflux increases the separation of all the different constituents in the distillate and therefore produces a lighter, cleaner spirit. So Glenmorangy is known for having a pretty light and delicate spirit. Barrel finishing or cask finishing in Scotland is very, very common practice and Glenmorangy does a lot of it. They're one of the distilleries that really focuses on using unique casks and they do a lot of finishing using various casks. And cask finishing is where a mature spirit is transferred into a secondary cask that previously held something else usually. So in this case, Tokaji dessert wine, and it sits there for a shorter period of time. Now, the goal of this is to essentially add an additional layer of flavor and complexity to the whiskey. Some whiskey purists say this is essentially adding in some flavoring and potentially some coloring, but yeah, a lot of distilleries do it and we really enjoy it as consumers. <laughs> now, if you're not a wine person like me, um, you've probably never heard of Tokaji dessert wine before, and I know I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I saw a bunch of different pronunciations on Google, so I'm sticking with Tokaji. Um, yeah, I saw pronunciations like Tokoi and Tokai and Tokei, and I apologize to anyone and everyone for butchering that pronunciation. But anyways... Tokaji dessert wine is a very sweet white wine that's produced in the Tokay region of Hungary. Tokaji wine has been produced for centuries. It's mentioned as far back as 1635 with the reference to Tokaji Azu. I'm also probably pronouncing that improperly as well. This is a botrytized wine. Botrytis cinerea is a fungus that both dries out and decays the grape. This is also known as noble rot. And supposedly this brings out some more sweetness in the wine. Sauternes is also made this way. According to the internet, Tokaji is supposedly fruitier and more acidic than Sauternes. Now I have never had Tokaji dessert wine, um, so I don't know what it tastes like. And I'm sure each bottle of wine tastes very different from the other. However, I believe that the Tokaji dessert wine will bring some sweet, honeyed, perhaps fruity and dried fruit notes to the whiskey. But there's only one way to find out, so let's taste. This has a good color to it. Now, again, this doesn't come with an age statement, so I don't know how long it sat in the cask, um, but it's got a good honey color to it. 
And right off the bat, I'm getting sweet toffee. There's some honey and some stewed apples. There's some candied lemon. And it's got some like meadowy notes. There's like a lavender citrus thing that reminds me of some bourbons. There's sweet vanilla. There's a note that's similar to like a baked good, like a light sweet bun, maybe angel food cake. And there's some nutmeg. Initially, there's a little bit of heat that kind of surprised me. This is at 46%, so I wasn't expecting any heat at all. But there is a little bit, um, at least initially, and then that subsides. And it almost builds into a creamy mouthfeel, so it's almost there, it's getting there. Um, but it does have a good, a good viscosity to it. And right off the bat, I'm getting figs and apple pie filling. That then turns into some milk chocolate and some dates and raisins. There's also toasted hazelnuts, some dried apricots as well. And there's some vanilla in there, some sweet vanilla that's kind of like a vanilla royal icing. We should compare it to the Glenmorangie original, the 10 year that's aged in ex bourbon barrels. Yeah, cool. Great. <laughs> the Glenmorangie original 10 year. This is most certainly lighter in color. And on the nose, I'm getting more floral notes and more of like a crisp, ripe apple. There's a little bit more spice too. There's definitely more spice, more cinnamon and nutmeg. And there's more citrus on the palate. There's also, uh, like a green apple um, rather than the stewed apple or apple pie filling. And there's something that reminds me of a fig Newton, but without the figs. So just the Newton part. They are very, very similar. However, I think that they were successful in getting an additional layer of complexity in the Tokaji dessert wine finished whiskey versus the original 10 year. There's definitely more dried fruits on the Tokaji finished versus more fresh apples and spiciness on the original. Glen Morangie does a great job. I love their limited releases because not only are the bottles super cool to look at, but also what's inside is very tasty. It's still Glen Morangie at heart, uh, but yeah, with just a little bit of a different take. Before I go, I would love to say a huge thank you to my Patreons for helping to support the channel and also be the start of a community over on Patreon. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share it with friends. That also helps to support the channel. And if you do want to join the community over on Patreon, I will leave a link in the description below produced in the toke 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 botrytis sinier sinieria botrytis sin sinieria sinieria botrytis sinieria sinieria Cineria, Cineria, Botrytis Cineria. Take a look at that colorful label. Glen Morangie really does a great job with their marketing and their labeling and everything like that. And of course, I picked up this bottle because it sounds delicious and also because of the label. Of course, we shop with our eyes first. <music>